Hi, Jimbo here again, and thought I'd take the time. Now it's actually warmed up and I can stand outside without my hands and feet falling off to uh, do the second video about my uh, exposure light setup. So today I'm on the Mason ISO, which you can see, duh. Um, and on this bike, I have the exposure Revo set up. So let's have a little looky at that. So on the wheel front, uh, we've got the um, Hunt in search of wheel set with the Sun 28 Dynamo. And we have, just as on the other one, we have the cable coming out that. That goes up very neatly routed through the fork, which is very decent of them. And uh, the way that I've done this one, um, in the bag here, let's just get all this other stuff out. There's a load of gubbins in here. I've put in the same type of connectors as are on the K-Lite. So you can see here, I've got that connector. So that connector goes through the front to the exposure light. Now, the cool thing about the exposure light is their rear light plugs straight into the back of it. And one of the other things that is really good about it is actually it has a really quite a long stand light so if you stood around looking at a map or just trying to figure out what the hell you're doing or even setting your uh, sleep system up you will have a bit of light for probably a little bit longer than the K light does and uh, if we go around the back you can see the rear light and this is really really bright so really good for uh, being seen that one so we go through to the charging setup and as I said, I've got the connector here and what I have plugged into that is this Bush and Muller setup. So I have the other connector on there, then it goes into the Bush and Muller e-work. This is a pretty good device. You can set up a variety of different outputs and voltages. Um, I just set it up on the uh, USB setting and at the highest output that it can do which is 1.2 from that it goes into this little cache battery which smooths out the voltage flow if you've got your phone plugged into it and then plugged into that is just a USB port so unlike on the other bike where um, the USB is always running and always charging the other battery. In the case of this bike, it's either one or the other. So if I'm doing a ride like today, which is a bit of both, generally speaking, I'll just leave the lights on all day because there's, you know, 50-50 road and off-road. Um, but if I was on a multi-day trip, then chances are I would just have the USB running during the daylight hours and have that going into the big um, Zendure cache battery which I showed in the other video um, so yeah that's it this uh, this is a really great system this light and um, as I think I said in uh, my first video it's not necessarily that one is better than the other um, they're both really great lights maybe a little bit more vers versatility with the K light and there is no denying that it is brighter. Um, but equally, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the exposure light. And that's the light I used in 2016 when I went and had a crack at the divide the first time. Um, and I've done, you know, many, many thousands of miles, many trips with it and using this system to charge everything. So, um, you know, it's a, it's a great system. As I said before, it's not that one's better than the other, it's just that you need to figure out what um, really works for you for, for what trip you're planning and uh, what you think would be the best thing. So there you go. Uh, I'm gonna go and get some food now. I'm out here on part of the SD300 route, just keeping it local because of lockdown, trying to find some motivation. Um, I'll see you in the next video.